In today's video, we're focusing on the fullback position and specifically what you should be doing when you are in possession of the ball. In a different tutorial, I'll talk about what to do when you don't have possession of the ball, when your team is defending. But in today's tutorial, we're talking about being in possession of the ball, attacking, where you should go, which decisions you should make when you have the ball at your feet. So let's get into it. I'm just going to give you a bunch of different scenarios and give the ball to different players on our team and show you different things that you can do. These aren't set in stone. You don't always have to do these things, but I'm just giving you more ideas so you can make better decisions. And as you become a better player, you will learn which decisions to make in which situations. But let's say we are defending and our team wins possession of the ball. So this blue guy had possession of the ball. Our central midfielder came and won the ball back and now we're in possession. What should we do? So let's say the ball is played to the center back. So as I said, we were defending, we were nice and compact. Now that we have possession of the ball, we want to get really wide really early, especially in the defensive third of the field. We want to use width to our advantage because if we're very compact and we're playing the ball in these types of areas, it's much easier for the team to press us and win the ball back. When we get more space between each other, we can use the speed of the ball to our advantage and then these players have to chase and they get stretched and we can play the ball again and go the other way. And as you see, now he has more space to make his decisions. So what do you do after you get really wide and you actually receive the ball in this position? Well, as you can see here, there's a bunch of different options that you can take. Number one, you can dribble into space. If there's space for you to take, you can dribble into that space. However, if there's someone in a better position than you, let's say the ball was switched quickly like that, and the blue team is still on this side. Yes, I realize there are fewer players on the blue team, but we're just doing this for demonstration purposes. If you see that your teammate is in a better position than you, get that ball to him. As he goes forward, you join in the attack. Okay, but let's say, their team has shifted. What are your options in this certain situation? So first of all, as that ball is coming to you, you want to get your head up. You want to start seeing where your options are because you don't want to have the ball. Now we get our head up. Now we make our decisions. But at this point, everyone's already closed down. Okay, so as that ball is coming to you, get your head up. Look where your teammates are. Try to make a decision before the ball is at your feet. Get that ball out of your feet. And as I said, there's a bunch of different options for you here. So one, you can play into the winger's feet. If he's tight on, you show for support, you can get that ball back. And maybe we go in a different direction, just keep the ball moving. Okay, but you can play that ball into the winger from here. You can play that ball into your central midfielder. And this is a great option, especially if he has time and space, because you wanna get the ball into these players. These are your playmakers in here. Yes, you can be a playmaker from every position, but these guys in the center of the field are the guys who really create the plays, get things going. So you wanna play the ball into their feet as much as possible. Now saying that, if he the ball is played into there and he can't turn, just tell him man on, get that ball back. And then again, you can go down here or we can go around the back and we can go to the other side. Another option, you can play more direct. You can play into the striker. So let's say these guys are all getting closed down, you're getting pressed, we're still composed but we can play that ball more direct into the striker's feet and hopefully he has midfield runners running off of him. You could also play a long diagonal. So let's say they're defending and most teams will make the field very compact when they're defending. This fullback isn't going to be out there with the winger. There will be space for that winger or even a very ambitious fullback if you want to be that type of player, a wingback as well to get down the line. Okay, so if you see that space, yes, as a, as a fullback, you can even make that run, but also the winger will probably be making that run. You can play that long diagonal over the top as well. So I'm giving you a few options here. Some are short. Obviously, if we're getting pressed and we have no options and you don't have time to play that diagonal over the top with composure, with quality, you can always go around the back and keep that ball moving. Get that ball here and again, make that space. If you find your wingers here and they've left that space for you, you can dribble up that line until someone closes you down. You can go all the way and whip a ball into the box. So those are some ideas for when you're receiving the ball in those wide positions because you will receive that ball a lot in these positions as a fullback, okay? On the touch line with space and decisions to make. Let's move forward. What do you do when the central midfielder has the ball? And let me just get this defense organized on the blue. Play something like that. So let's say 
the ball is played into, and you can even play from this fullback into the central midfielder. Where should you go as a fullback? Well, number one, as always, you need to support if it's not on, okay? If he's getting forward, you can slowly get forward. But the big, the most um, common way you'll be involved as a fullback when this central midfielder gets the ball is as a switch, okay? So let's say the ball gets played into him here and you, as a fullback, know that he's trying to switch the field. A good central midfielder will try to get half turned and he will try to go in the other direction because if we keep playing in here, we just get trapped and trapped and trapped and trapped. Okay, so a good central midfielder will get switched. Realize that as that ball is coming here, he will get switched and there's probably space for you as this fullback because everyone on the blue team is trying to compress the field, they're trying to trap us. So that means the winger is probably coming inside, the fullback is probably coming inside, and there will be space for you to attack. So as that ball is played into the central midfielder here, be ambitious, try to anticipate that the ball is going to come this way, and yes, get width, call for that ball because you will have space and to make a forward run, and you can join in the attack just like that. Okay, so that's probably the most common way you're going to get involved when the central midfielder has the ball. Just anticipate that the switch is coming. Anticipate that the switch is coming, and get forward, give him an option, and you can get him. And you can get involved in the play. It's a great opportunity to get involved in the attack. Just anticipate the switch. Let's say, for example, the ball came to this side and the blue team came to close us down. Okay, our central midfielder shows for the ball, something like this. We have tons of players over here. Why do there so many guys? Something like that. Okay, you want to get that ball right away. And again, we can go forward. You can play into this guy, overlap, get involved, whip some balls into the boxes. So that's probably the most common situation when the central midfielder has the ball. Look for that switch, try to get involved, be an option on the wing moving forward. What do you do when your winger has the ball? The winger on your side, what do you do when he has the ball? So as we said, maybe you play that ball into him. Play that ball into him. If he gets closed down, you want to come for an option and just show here and now we can combine. And if the ball gets played in here, we can continue to go forward something like this. What if he has space? So the ball gets played into him and he gets turned and he has space to run at defenders. If he's running inside, you definitely want to be joining in overlap outside because it's a great opportunity. These defenders are forced to move towards him He's creating this space for you by moving inside so you can make that overlap and get involved and again whip balls into the box or drive into the box for a cutback or drive into the box and even get a shot on goal. But anytime your winger has the ball and he is creeping inside like that, it's a great opportunity for you to get forward. Yes, sometimes he might make the wrong decision, he might lose possession and then we're getting countered and you have to come back. But that's a risk I want you to take as a fullback. So realize if he's on the ball, he's moving inside, he is creating space for you on the outside. What happens if he gets the ball and he comes down the line like this? You wanna come and you wanna support him because eventually he may get trapped and he'll be forced to turn backwards and hopefully you are there to support. You can either take a touch inside, be very direct or set that ball, get it out of your feet, and then whip it into the box. Okay, so those are the main positions when you're gonna be involved with your teammates, usually getting the ball from the center back, getting the ball from the central midfielder, or playing the ball into the central midfielder and getting that switch as the other fullback, or combining with your winger, okay? So if he's trapped, you wanna give him an option and you wanna keep that ball moving. If he has time to get turned and he's going inside, you wanna take that advantage to use that space on the outside. And if he does go inside with the ball, you want to come and support him and you can make even what is called an underlap. And instead of going on the outside, you come on the inside to provide an option and he'll play that ball into there and you might have space. It's great playing as a fullback because most defenders aren't going to pick you up. They're worried about the striker, they're worried about the winger. They're not thinking about this guy coming from defense to join in the attack. And you can be a very dangerous player for your team as the fullback. So there's a little advice on certain decisions you can make in these different areas. Just think about getting width, especially when you're in the defensive third, 
getting your head up and making decisions before you have the ball. So as that ball is coming to you, your head is up, ball's at your feet, you already know this guy has time, play it into him, and then come and join the attack. Or play a ball into your winger and join in the attack. Or like I said, if things are getting too tight, we're playing too many little passes, the other team is really trying to press us, don't be afraid to play that ball over the top and join in the attack. One more thing I'll say, Let's say the opposing winger has the ball or the opposing or the opposite fullback has the ball. What should you do here? Should you sit back and defend? Well, this is really dependent on your coach. Some coaches may want you to pull in here and make a flat back three when one fullback goes, the other fullback tucks. However, it's becoming more and more common that when one fullback goes, the other fullback can go as well. So let's say this fullback made an overlap and he's about to cross the ball in the box. Obviously the winger is getting in the box, the striker is getting in the box, that other winger is probably getting to that back post. As a fullback, you can come into areas like this because as that ball gets whipped out, maybe it gets headed out and suddenly you find yourself at the top of the box and you can take a rip or clip that ball back into the back post. So don't be afraid of getting forward. Yes, you do need a lot of fitness, a lot of energy to play this position, but feel free to get forward and challenge yourself to get forward. Especially when you're playing with two holding midfielders, what should happen here is when the fullbacks get forward, one of the defensive midfielders goes in like this and you already have three at the back, okay? If you do lose possession, yes, get back right away, get back right away, but I want you to encourage yourself to get forward, get involved in the attack, whip balls into the box, get around the top of the box, combine with your wingers, combine with your midfielders, get shots, get crosses, be involved in the attack. So those are some ideas on how to play the fullback position, decisions you can make, spaces to get into when your teammates have the ball. Just always think about being an option, providing passing angles, using width to your advantage. If you're playing in here as a fullback, you're not gonna have time on the ball. The wider you get, the more time you're gonna allow yourself to have. So I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please like, please comment, please share this video with your friends and teammates, and come back tomorrow for another training tutorial.